this is what we call twofold gaze. So this is a way of having a faster reaction time through your site. If you use your central vision, you have a faster reaction time than using your peripherals. It's like you, when you use your peripheral and you're a trained fighter, it's like 80 milliseconds. When you're an untrained fighter using your central vision, it's like 260 to like 300 milliseconds, something that's like way higher, okay? Um, once you get trained, it still gets lower. I think it gets down to like 160 or 120. But so what we're gonna do in order to be able to use our peripheral vision, which is what I prefer, is the first thing that I do is I put my hand in front of my face. So you're gonna put your hand in front of your face, you're gonna look at your hand, okay? Now you're gonna look through your hand at the opponent behind it, okay? You see how you can kind of see through your hand? Yeah. Okay, now you're gonna bring your hand down, you're gonna keep that gaze. Now I'm gonna look at the wall behind you and look through you, just like how I did with the hand, okay? Now when I do this, I'm focusing my gaze here on you, but through you. Because what this does is now my central vision is here, okay, and my peripherals will pick up any movement that you do. I like this here, one, because people a lot of times whenever they do a movement, they will turn either their hips or their shoulders, especially in like boxing and MMA when they're trying to get power, or they're going to lunge, they'll get that turn first, or they'll drop down. And also your peripherals pick up everything that the sword does without having to look at it and everything the feet do. So you can see that back foot sink up okay. or not. Okay, so when I fight someone, my mask is painted so you can't tell, but usually it looks like I'm bored because it looks like this. I'm just like zoned out and I'm just like doing whatever. Okay, so that's the type of side we're gonna use and it's called two-fold gaze. That's what Musashi called it. He didn't really explain in depth how to do it. He just talks about using your peripherals and he calls it two-fold gaze.